What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, in this video we're gonna be talking about a few things as far as pre-orders, kind of comparisons, and also something that's coming up soon from Habao, a little different than the Kyosho. Um, I'll get a better picture eventually. Uh, Habao said that they're gonna have more information on this coming at the end of the month, and we're talking August. These are supposed to release sometime in mid-December is what I've been told from Habao as of yesterday night. So be on the lookout as far as, I don't even know what scale, what price point. I just put a dollar there. Obviously it's sold out so no one could buy it anyway, but I put it in there. I just wanna kinda of show people this one, but there's no information on it. We don't even know the scale. Assuming that the X is 10, then maybe it's a 10 scale monster truck. Now it kinda of fill in a little bit of that void of, of their, they have like seven scale or eight scale, and then we have at least a 10 scale truck. That'd be kinda of cool. And it'd be a little bit cheaper, I'm sure, than a 1.8 scale. So anyway, there's that information. So let's go ahead and hop over to, I'll put links down in the description for you guys, even for that one there. So once it does update, that'll be available. But I'll make another video all cleaned up for you guys. But let's go ahead and jump over to pre-orders on our website here. Again, omgrc.com. So give you some updates, which is going to be, this Nissan Skyline, so a lot of you guys have ordered these things. They are sold out. We're, again, not expecting these until October. So please be patient. Uh, I definitely appreciate all you guys that have been patient because this thing was supposed to be, I was hoping like beginning of summer, this was supposed to drop. And it's out in the wild there, but overseas, not here in the States. So just be mindful of that. Like, hey, I see other people with this thing. No, it's overseas. And some of those are just going to be sent out as samples to get the word out about the vehicle. Just like Kyosha will send stuff to me sometimes to do sample uh, videos and things like that for you guys. So definitely appreciate Kyosha doing all that for us. But um, yeah, not until October. As far as the truck goes, I don't even 100% know. I don't have even a date on this one. I was expecting them to be in by now too, but that's with everything. These trucks here also, they seem to be pretty awesome. I don't know when they're coming. So once I get some more information, uh, solid dates, or they're like, hey, they're coming in, I'll let you guys know. But uh, main focus here, kind of jumping around a little bit, sorry, but it is the Madvan VE. It is their purple one. So let's go ahead and hop into that one. I'll put links down in the description below for the pre-order link in general, and then I can get it on this purple one here too, as far as the Madvan. So this is a brushed version. It's a one-tenth scale. It is all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Um, it doesn't come with any charger or battery, so just kind of keep that in mind. And you just need four AA batteries for the radio, but you will need like a LiPo battery, 2S LiPo, and charger for the van itself. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, I don't have a whole bunch of... It should be exactly the same as the brown version here. We'll call it, we'll call it brown. But... um. That's what it was before. So you can always look up videos on this vehicle and um, you know see how this thing performs and everything like that, what people do and don't like about it. I'm gonna give you a little bit on it, which would be like the spur gear. Generally that plastic spur gear, now that has, and my friends, and I've had other people say it, that they strip. Um, there is an, a solution for that is getting, you can get a metal spur gear for it from off the Madvan V, which is the brushless one. And I'll kind of jump over that real quick. This is the Madvan VE brushless. So it is faster. Uh, it still runs on a 2S, but it'll be faster on that part of it. It's $279.99. I think it's a really good deal. When you're comparing these two side by side for the $40 difference, it is actually a win to just go with the brushless one. Why? Oh, it's faster. And if I'm getting it for a kid, I don't really want that power. Yeah, there's a little knob that's there. You can dial that power down so they can only use so much of that throttle so they can pull it back as far as they want to, but it's only gonna go so fast. So kind of keep that in mind. Plus, if you're kind of new, or maybe you're new to the hobby and everybody makes mistakes and the thing crashes, just it's gonna be on its roof eventually, right? And this one's got skid plates on it. So that's even nice, that's even better. And it's got LEDs, so you can put LEDs in it. It doesn't come with the LED lights, but you can add them to it and it has those little light buckets in there. I think for the for that $40 difference with that, metal spur gear that's in there um you you can adjust it and everything like that so it's slipper uh just like on the plastic one it has that as well uh, you should be able to adjust that one also 
If I'm wrong, let me know, but I believe those both have slipper clutches in them so you can tighten them down. Um, but nonetheless, this one at least comes with a metal spur gear along with the metal drive and everything like that. So those would be the things to kind of look at. It does have a wheelie bar on the back of it too. So, you know, you bind these parts all separately, you know, you're going to be over the cost of this Madvan VE. So just kind of pointing things out for you guys. So just in case, but yeah, the brushed one, uh, speed on this thing's probably going to be around, you know, that a little, maybe around 20, maybe 20 plus miles an hour. I don't think it's going to be 25 or anything like that, but it's going to be somewhere right around there. It's not a bad speed. I mean, I've seen it running. I had a friend um, for his son bought one and I was pretty impressed as far as its speed for what it is. I was like, that's pretty good, man. It does wheelies and everything like that. Now this one, uh, it doesn't show any wheelie bar on it. The previous one, the brown one, it did have like a little plastic post that stuck out the back of it. And I believe you had to add that to it. It wasn't already assembled on there, but you could add it to it because this thing will do wheelies and flip over just on based on even on just a brushed motor so uh, i would definitely if it comes with it slap it on there and go because that way it'll save a little bit because this one doesn't have any skid plates on it like the brushless one and uh, these aren't going to be coming out until sometime in september september october i'm going to call it roll the dice and say probably october hopefully i'm it'll be better than and it'll we'll get them sooner but I'm just letting you guys know as far as that one goes. I'm going off of Kyosho's track record. It's hard to say when these things are going to come out. But I would say that this one's already been in production. And uh, it's just a body color change. So shouldn't take too long to do. Um, doesn't have any LED lights. It's just a plastic. It's just a sticker on the front of it. And um, so there's no bumper. The other one comes with a bumper. I don't know how durable it is. But you can kind of compare the two a little bit. I want to share those two with you. I'll put those links down in the description below. So I'll put the this one that we are on pre-order and then also that Madvan VE, the brushless one. Uh, again, we only have like a couple of them left. So if you are, you can get it now or you can wait for this one and it'll be brushed. So it's kind of giving you those few little options there. Um, on this one too, you know, it's got a little um, Velcro straps on both of the vehicles. So it's same same chassis. So there's no difference in chassis wise, it's just what components are sticking in there. Like I said, it's going to be that metal spur gear. That's the main focus because that seems to be one of the uh, weak points of the brushed version. Um, and it does come with the aluminum drive shaft also. This one's got a plastic one. So if you do these upgrades and stuff, you'll definitely want to go with a aluminum drive shaft or whatever else is out there to uh, give you better performance because this thing will rattle and everything else like that once you give it more power um so all right well i'll put links down in the description below you guys kind of read through this thing you can watch plenty of videos because this thing's already been out in the wild for over a year so you can see those reviews and kind of get an idea of everything and also that brushless one too so appreciate you guys watching as always thank you for sticking around to the end if you're hearing this now and uh we'll catch you real soon definitely check us out at omgrc.com we got options payment plans using klarna great little platform so I definitely appreciate Klarna for, uh, you know, being able to supply that with you guys so you can do these interest-free payments uh, so you can read up all on all that stuff. But, yep, catch you real soon. You guys take care. Peace.